But if it's identified with, that can cause suffering on top of the experience of the sadness. So there's the sadness that's there, and then there's the sadness that comes from the belief that it shouldn't be there. So when that feeling comes, and then there's a part that says, it's here again, I don't want it. All that's required is to see that part and fully allow that part too. I experienced this sadness that's very deep and I find that there is no story attached to that sadness and sometimes I allow myself to feel it or I have access to feel it fully and I might cry or just feel it and feel relief but it comes back again. And I feel like it's a sadness of separation. And I feel like it's never ending. And um, I guess my question is, is it ending at some point. Mm. Yes, but it's not about waiting for the future point when the sadness is gone so that you can not finally know peace. There's a peace here that's transcendent of this experience. And you can know that peace by fully accepting and allowing the sadness. And this is the paradox. If you feel the sadness in order to get rid of it so that it will go away and then you can feel good, then actually, the, and this is the same for any negative emotion, the way that you're relating with the experience is violent. It's saying, no, you're wrong. You're, you're a mistake in existence. You shouldn't be here. I need to get rid of you. I need, you're broken. I need to fix you. And if you just take a moment to tune in, if somebody relates with you in that way, you're a mistake on this earth. You need to be eliminated. How do you feel? It doesn't feel good. But if somebody relates with you with unconditional love and they say to you, you're perfect just as you are. You don't need to change. You don't need to be any different. I love you. You have total freedom to be as you are. How does that feel for you? You notice that your system will probably either contract with the first example or relax like a relief and an openness. And the energies inside are the same. So when we relate, with them like their problems, like they're wrong. The energies contract more because they don't feel safe. But when we relate with them with unconditional love, they relax. And in that relaxing, in that openness, there's space for the, for the energies to process and release and integrate. Now it's a good thing that sadness is coming up and um, it's very, very common. It's, it's natural when you do meditation that uncomfortable emotions and sensations arise in your body. Because what's happening is your system enters into a process of reharmonization. 
and deep healing happens. And it's a good thing. Now, the way that you describe your experience with the sadness, it sounds to me like you are surrendering to it when it comes up and then it feels like there's a release. You said, but then it comes back. Now, there's two things about that comment. Most likely, it's not coming back because what happens is you surrender, it comes up, you surrender to it, and it transmutes. But that's just one layer of it. So that layer is not coming back. It's been transmuted. But what happens now is the next layer comes up. So you're accessing deeper and deeper layers of it. Now, the second thing to say about that comment, but then it comes back, hidden inside there is a belief that I don't want it to come back, and that's resistance to it. And it's natural. Of course it's natural. We don't experience that. It's okay that that's there. But if it's identified with, that can cause suffering on top of the experience of the sadness. So there's the sadness that's there, and then there's the sadness that comes from the belief that it shouldn't be there. So when that feeling comes... And then there's a part that says, it's here again, I don't want it. All that's required is to see that part and fully allow that part too. Otherwise, you have a double resistance, resisting the sadness and resisting the resistance of the sadness. You see? So you totally allow all of it. And you be the space, the aware witness, in which the experience is happening. And it might be happening on a level of energy in the body and on the level of thoughts it's here now it's going to be here forever am i going to have to live with this forever relate to it as though you're okay with it being here forever because that's only that's unconditional love like okay if the sadness stays for the rest of my life i accept that for whatever reason i don't understand god wants me to experience this so I surrender to God's will. And it, this is the paradox. In that total and complete acceptance of it, that speeds up the transformation and integration of it.